Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. I'm here again. The beta is still release. No, no news. I think. What did we play? We played Mini Mika yesterday. I remember. My my goal for now, because we're starting to get up there in the streak numbers, is to just keep giving it my best. And so that's what we're gonna do. I don't want to throw it away and go. Ah, well. Shouldn't have tried that silly thing. That's my feeling. These characters do usually have noses, but sometimes you get one without a nose. I'm going to play Woodoo. Woo-woo. Woodo. Uh, and we're, I believe, because of the bell change where you don't get uh, a crown at the start anymore, I believe we're re-entering Spike meta. I'm pretty sure. Welcome back, everybody, to Spike meta. Remember this guy? Because ultimately... Spike, so your pets are going to be kicked out of your run now a lot sooner because there's no reason to play the pets when you can play real units instead. That's my feeling. And like you're down a crown, so somewhere that crown has to come from somewhere. Here's where it's coming from. Sorry, brother. Uh, I'll hit the goblin. We're going to be pretty poor. That's how it goes, though, Spike. Not your fault. You got kind of... I mean, good for Spike, I should say. Bad for every other pet. Because you have to give up a crown somewhere, because we're down a crown now. So it's three if I just scrappy sword him? Yeah, okay. It's better to just play scrappy sword, because then I'll only take three here, and I can get a nice two kill. Mm, too bad, it could have been a three kill. Oh, it can be a three kill. Not bad. What do you know? And then Snow Knight, very unthreatening, especially with Spike. But yeah. Every run is going to be minus one crown no matter what you do now. So you just take the crown off of the pet. Because it was I was just playing little Gazi or Bushu through for fun. Nowadays, I don't think so anymore. Uh, what do we got here? We got two units or card plus unit. I'm down to go bottom path. Lots of charms do really well for us here on this hero. And I want to see a card. Pengu charm. Ugh. Yuck. Chrono, I take back my yuck. Uh, yum. Eh, maybe not. Let's play Wallop today. I always pick Bomb Bomb in this situation. I think Wallop is good, especially with Chrono. I am down. That mimic, not down. I can do Sunrod for a two kill here. Oh, I'm a fool. Uh, I did not, I don't have plus one. I thought I had flame watered. Could I have done that differently? I think I could have had time to flame water actually. Oh well. I'll survive. It's not a huge loss. Wow, look at this board. Well, I can pretty easily just lock it down here. Refreeze the porcupine. I just can't get hit for four rounds now. Uh, let's take a two kill, or a three kill here, actually. Let's kill a mimic. One dollar. Interesting. I want to see one of them drop zero so that I can realize I was correct. But I have my doubt. I pressed the bell here so that I could snow stick the gobbling. Ideally, I pulled two snow sticks for that, but it doesn't always work out. Mm. Okay. I don't mind every now and then playing a little. I mean, I think it's actually good to play extra greedy here. Oh, look at that. That mimic dropped zero. You see it? You saw it, right? I'm not crazy. That mimic did drop zero. I think it was a mimic anyway. That's why I thought that. I knew there was a reason. I knew I didn't just make that shit up. Oh, uh, you're gonna do... Do flame water. Wallop takes five, it's cool. Mm. 
This is fine. I don't mind waiting. Because I can snow stick and then my hero takes home a nice little two kill to finish us off. We made well off on money here. No complaints. Nothing to nothing to be upset about here, anyway. 162 gold. That's about what we would be at. Oh man. Oh man. Oh oh man, that's so bad. Okay, well we should go look at multiple cards so that we can pull one that'll do well with whatever charm we get here, because the charms have to be very good now. Uh we'll go Palm Bomb. And Shellbow. And uh Shellbow and Pinkberry Juice I think is a little bit strange. But what else am I gonna do? Yeah. Why not? So Numlin, Moko, oh, Kabonker. We could play Shroom. We can play Lumen. Lumen is probably the way. This Chrono looks real sad though. I'm gonna play Lumen. I don't know if I'm gonna play Shroom. I probably should. It's pretty good. We can play Shroom into Lumen on our hero. And then we're doing six poison or we can play lumen here and then do three but eventually it becomes five when we get vase so the real question here is do i need to be strong right now or am i okay am i dying because of this role that's what the question is mm, it's in for noko but we took up we took up palm bomb shelbo pink berry juice so we should be okay i'm gonna agreed because chrono gets better over time Whereas if I needed to live here for sure, I would play Shroom and then Lumen that, but that's kind of lame. I think we'll be okay. But this is the nightmare. I should probably kick Spike out of this deck at this point, actually. Uh, I will Flame Water. And then if I go Sunrod, you'll do 16. So it'll be four. I could also go hit the Mini Moko. I have to kill one of these actually, but not the other. I'm gonna do it like this. And then I have to play Woodhead for Porcupine. And then my hero takes a three. And so we just, we wanted to make sure we played it like this so that we didn't have any Makoko related incidents here. I can play Wallop first. And then probably Palm Bomb. Yeah, I think we want to be here though. And Palm Bomb. This will kill Infernoko, but that's fine. I could stop it if I wanted, but we're we're here to survive at this point. This is a survival scenario now. Let's slap a shell bow on down. No, I don't have a kill on either of these two. Well, I don't really want to kill Mini Moko here because I don't want to let. Um, I, if I kill Minimoko, everything moves up and Makoko gets stuck behind. Everything's really gross. So instead, I will just play Pink Berry Juice. We have a high defensive output, which is good to survive this fight. Makoko right here. Uh, Minimoko. This is probably a Makoko in there. I'm gonna skip the freeze. I, oh, I should play Spike. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, kill here, you die here. I'll kill the Snow Gobbler for money. I think it's good, because I do have to be able to buy a crown. I, I, I cannot go on with no crowns. It'll be very grim. So I think here is fine. Kill. Take there. 
And a three kill. Good enough. This does set up the Makoko issue, but that's a problem for later. I win the fight now. Whenever I swing again. Oh, so I just kind of ignore the Makoko and I let him drop money on the runaway. And then set up a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna... For a... Palm bomb here? That's pretty good, actually. You're here, I play Palm bomb, and then I freeze in for Noko. And this gives me... One, two, three. It's another three kill. Uh, I need my hero in front. And then freeze here. And that should be a three kill. That's about as much money as we could have made in this fight. I think that we this was as well as it could have been played, I think, given the circumstances. Good money. I'll take it. What the hell is this? Oh, start each battle with the redraw bell fully charged. Uh, well, I'm always picking up the crown. Block and spice on hit don't sound that good, although spice on hit on our hero is kind of cute. Uh, we can just go... Oh man, spice on hit is pretty good. Because we have shell bow too. It kind of goes off. But I, I really want to play redraw bell counter down. I think I will. Mm, oh man, it's the it is the super nightmare. Oh, it's the worst RNG you can have. Oh, that's cool. Well, if I survive this, uh, it's very good. It's a good sign, anyway. Wart, Snawful. Mm. I have good damage. We're going to play Snawful. Snawful will let me cheat through all of the nonsense. What a nightmare. Take the goop. I actually had a dream recently that I forgot to take the lumen goop. That was the whole dream. It was not a very nice dream. I mean, there was probably more to it, I just don't remember it. Uh, so we're gonna play Crown Snuffle so that Snuffle can perma freeze everything out. And oh, hate this for us. And throw Wallop in the mix. I want to make sure that the Makoko is frozen when Wallop takes the turn. Which should be like so. The Grumps is the real problem though. Might actually just have my Wallop come down here. Come to think of it. Yeah, I bet this is better, because Wallop only has to lose one. Oh, I lose five. I lose one on the Pom Bomb, too, but that's okay. Oh, I could have had Snuffle go first, and then I didn't have to play Pom Bomb. Ah, uh, that's a misplay. Oh, well. I'll survive. I'm gonna get the Shell Bow now. We're gonna play Chrono soon. You die the sword. Although I think I'd rather play Spike here and have him on the field. Because if I don't play Spike then, I'm never playing Spike. Spike takes that, I can play Chrono now. And then we're gonna position thusly. So, Evelyn can go, I don't mind. Oh, Wallop's not crowned. Wallop is not crowned. Round, of course. I was aware of that. So Snuffle goes, Wallop goes and kills the Grumps, and then my hero goes. And we're not scared of King Moko. Well, I'm not. You can be scared if you want. I am unafraid. I don't mind the gobbling. I'm super rich because I uh, was unable to spend money for some reason. Sure. Makoko versus Spike. And we're gonna want Sunrod Snuffle. I do have to win the fight. I can't 
I can't stall one round versus King Moko here. He will kill me. Important thing to note. It's fine. Mm hmm. And you can recall, yada yada. No purpose in playing Shell Bow. Bomb Bomb kills these, or it kills the Moko Head and it hurts the Pepper Witch, which is good. I can basically ignore this Pepper Witch, though. Snuffle does great. Oh, and Bomb Bomb also hits King Moko, which gives me spice. It's definitely this. Okay, now we do 6x4. I think it's best to play here. And then freeze King Moko, maybe? Hmm. It would be good if I was getting a hit. Uh, how much do I respect King Moko? That's what this is a question of. I don't actually respect him that much. I'm going to kill the Makoko. So, it's disrespectful to kill the Makoko first, because I'm, I can kill the Makoko on the following turn and get more damage on King Moko. But I only need to do that if I'm afraid, because instead I do it this way, and then I get an extra kill. And I will play... Snow stick on Pepper Witch so that I don't die horribly. My hero cleans up, and yeah, I was correct to disrespect. Never afraid. I mean, you just have four hits in the King. You have a unit with an X4 on their card in the King Moko. All is well. There is nothing to be afraid of. Not too bad. I'm feeling this run is stabilizing. The guaranteed crown out of the first boss is nice. Probably just always going to end up taking that. Moko Totem? Probably not. Fairy Blade? It's okay. I feel like it's kind of bloat, though. I don't really need it. Heart Forge? Nah. You could play... Actually, you could play Heart Forge. It's okay. Turns your Pink Berry Juice into a heal and gain four spice. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. I've talked myself into it. Grabber. <laughs> uh, we can play Bomb Head. That's fine. Cloudberry Charm's okay as well. Ooh, wait, Cloudberry Charm's kind of cute. Actually, I'll take it. I like it now that I think about it. Pepper Reaper, Shroominator. Pepper Reaper's okay. Spicing up my hero is good. I'm down. So we're gonna Cloudberry Charm our hero. And the tech here is heal on kill plus heart forge. Kind of kind of cute. And we'll go bomb head. And I'm good. Now, do I want to move the crown ever? I think I can cut Spike now. Spike was there to help dispose of the Cocos, which he did very well. Oh, look at this. Heart Forge into Pinkberry Juice. What a combo. Whoever thought of that was probably a genius. Pinkberry Juice up. You're now 7 times 4, which means you're going to take 2, 4, 6, 8 max. Let's play Sunrun. Uh, can I call them? I can call them. This is a little bit curious of a play, and could this kill me, actually? What's max damage you can take here? It's 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2. It's 10. Okay, so in the worst... Wait, no, it's... two. Yeah, no, no, that's right. In the worst case, which is double hit paw paw, double hit gromble, I will take 10 damage, which is survivable. So I think it's correct to call the enemies early, because this lets me... Sunrod Snoffle and freeze everything out. Oh, the worst case. Ah, not quite the worst case. Alright, I won't complain. Double hitting Pawpaw is bad, but I don't die for it, so it's alright. Now, probably bomb head. Is 
There's a world where I just redraw and then click Sunrod next turn. Two, three, four. The odds aren't great that I hit Sunrod in time, though. It's a big call out to whiff. So I suppose I'll just sword the Gromble. Although he doesn't hurt me that much if I let him hit me. I could also kill him with Bomb Head. Yeah, 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 that's probably better. Play Wallop and let Woodhead take care of this. That is fine. This Pawpaw is such a problem. I could let Wallop handle it, maybe. What if I double hit him, though? Four, six. Hmm. Do I have a snow stick in here? I do. Okay. Fine. So we're gonna go stare down Mawjaw here. Much less of a problem. Yeah, we just freeze him and then... We hope we don't... Well, if double-hitting double, double Pawpaw -paw isn't that bad. In a perfect world, it's two hits Pawpaw, -paw, two hits Smog, actually. That's also fine. Now you're gonna kill Smog. And then the Aimless is gone. Fine. It's nice to dream, isn't it? It's good to be uh, hopeful, I think. We're all right. I mean, we're we're walking out of this fine. Snuffles carrying our run. We can go up to, is that 13 times 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. That kills the board. I don't even think I'd die to any weird teeth-related incidents here. Looks fine. Most damage you can take here is 4, which is okay. Oh, and then I want to Sunrod Wallop. And that kills everything. An interesting fight. Definitely one of the worst versions of this fight for me. But not the worst because I was able to get out of it, clearly. Just hard, I would say. Just a hard fight. A second chrono? Nah, probably not. Because I need it on Snawful and my hero, so there's no reason to play a second chrono. Second pink berry juice. Uh, second shell bow, second pepper reaper. Nah, I'll go look at a card. No cake. Much more interesting, yeah. Base. 80 gold crown. Yeah, what's our first charm before I make any choices? Sun charm. That's a good one. I'm gonna charm all the way. I think it's good. Asbury charm? Sure. I, so if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could hold out here and we could wait for chuckle charm. I don't think it's that good. I think what I'd rather do is sun charm snuffle. And Raspberry Charm, our hero. Nice and safe. We're gonna play things cool, calm, and collected. And we're gonna crown Chrono so that we don't have the Lumen Vase first draw order. The the bad ending. Poor Scrap Spike Wall. Oh my. I'd love a scrap charm for Chrono, but I think I actually passed on it. 
unfortunately for me. I'll just freeze Crunker. Snuffle locks everything out of the game. I take three. Oh yeah, I probably don't do that. I'll throw Woodhead out. Go get him, champ. Five freeze looks good. Probably gonna pass. Shovel's hard to play with Chrono. Uh, I'm looking for Heart Forge, aren't I? I think Wallop might be obsolete now too. Just no real room for Wallop in this setup. I don't think. A uh, one turn timer Grink? Hell no, we're not playing into that. Don't ever come around here with that nonsense again. You hear me? I won't deal. I think I'm good. Our forge is alright. Pretty cool, actually. Let's play Heart Forge. It brings a little bit of value to the table, and hey, that's all I need here. Just a little bit. I would prefer if I didn't kill Krunker on this turn, I think, but... I don't have much of a choice if I do or don't. I don't. Good. This is so many spike walls they want me to cut through. It's not that big of a deal because I freeze, but still. It's like annoying more than anything else. That was my nickname in high school. Mm, I don't know about that one. Self-deprecating humor is kind of out in my mind. I'm over it, you know? It's kind of worn thin. And that was my nickname in high school. I don't know what that means. Don't, don't question me. Good with this in the palm bomb here. Yeah, in the palm bomb I think is just lethal, uh, which I don't necessarily want. Mm, I don't think it's quite lethal. I'll go spend one of my hits on the Grinky. Well, twelve times four. Oh, it is lethal. Oh well. I would have liked to have summoned the enemies to then kill them. But, alas. Wait, was it 12 times 3? Oh no, you're right. The Grink saves it. Okay. I see it now. I see what I missed. Well, we can just take it all home now with a nice little 4 kill. Shout out to my favorite character, Snoffle, for carrying this one. This is, of course, the worst case where you get double no crowns, so I'm glad I didn't try to do anything fancy on this run. What do you got? Health spell? Oh, hey, I didn't pass on Scrap Charm. That's super nice. We love to pick this up. God, I love pickup truck drivers. They're so cool. I love it when they make their engines really loud and then drive by. Hey, you know, I guess I, it's, I can't complain, it's 3 p.m. You're allowed to drive very loudly at 3 p.m. Used to record in the, at, late at night to dodge this, but eh, I can't be bothered anymore. Also, if you watched my late night recordings, I was always extremely tired. It was a rough one. I guess I'll freeze on Snowfall. Why not? I don't need it, but it's cool. Oh, the crabs. We can go back to the way things once were. Back to our roots. Yeah, so if you don't if you don't see it, by the way, the scrap on Chrono is so that I can play Shalbo in the final fight. Because now I can do this. And now Chrono survives. You can heal your companions by recalling them. How about you heal my... Wind. <laughs> oh, it's so weird for Snoffle to attack. How strange. And then we can go Lumen Vase. 
And then it'll be four hits of the burster lives. For now. Ah, uh, he's just gonna have to hit Snuffle. Does Snuffle end up freezing me now? Hmm. I actually don't prefer that. I'd rather he kills the Heart Forge. The Heart Forge is just cool. It's not that good. I don't mind it this way. I'm gonna throw Palm Bomb at it. Oh god. He attacks now. Well, that's a disaster. Yeah. Classic misplay on my part. Can you believe? Feel free to type up your comments about how much smarter you are than I am. I forgot that Snoffle was attacking here. My mistake. You can begin typing your, oh my god, why'd you do that comments, if you're so inclined. It's probably Woodhead Spike Pink Fairy Juice. I don't even need to play Pink Fairy Juice, though. Nah. Spike's here to deal with the bursters, at least. Uh, you may, I mean, it doesn't matter what you're extra freezing here, because it's double snow resistance in the front. Too bad the other crawler's behind them still. I could have done some cool stuff to gobbling here. And I don't mean cool. <laughs> I should have actually put a lot- if I wanted to, I could have put a lot of effort into getting Gobbling in front of Snoffle and making a bunch of money. But again, wasn't really thinking about that now, was I? Yeah, we just cut these bursters down and then we walk away fine. It'll be alright. This would be a good position for... a Fungo Blaster here. Pepper Reaper for what it's worth. Not a lot. God. I thought this fight took long before. Now it's a real menace. Oh man. Another burster. That's alright. I could, I guess, just play the... I, I could redraw instead of playing Scrappy Sword there. That would probably be all right. Ah, don't let him take it. I need this. Oh my god, what a nightmare. That one, I mean, I knew it could happen, but I was just assuming I wasn't going to whiff there. And I assumed wrong. I mean, I guess I'm just going to end up taking the money out of Goblin. Mm, whatever. I have enough money. This this fight is not dangerous. It's just a lesson in patience. This is an exercise in keeping my mental together, I suppose. It's an exercise in not freaking losing it here in this fight where I fucked up and gave out like 10 free block. But now look at me. Now look where I am. 25 versus... Oh, I actually get more by having it on the chrono, huh? Because it's 4 times 5 versus 3 times 8. Interesting. What's going on with the rest of the enemies? I'm busy hitting this goblin. I am getting less money. How strange. I guess I should be drawing for Lumen Vase so that I can get plus one, but also, eh. We're 100% winning, I'm just farming up a little extra money, mostly because it's fun. In theory, I could go forever here if I had things a little differently. I would just need to, I'm not forever necessarily, but I, I could go for a very long time here. I think I'm gonna leave now, if you don't mind. 
I'm happy with this outcome. I made more than enough money, and the crawler gets to live. Disgusting. Get out of here. Well, that was a nice little, like, 20 minute detour. Did you guys have fun? I had fun. I'm a pretty big fan of second snow cake for final boss. It's usually right. Another crown? Wow, you're so kind. New one biscuits, alright. I'll probably buy it. Oh, Moko Charm. That one's pretty good. Frenzy Charm. That one's kind of bad. New one biscuit or another charm? I'll take Moomoo Biscuit. That's fine enough for me. So we're gonna play Moko Shelbo, because it's usually just winning. This is not a deck that needs to kill fast, I'm just playing the stall. Spike, thank you for your hard work out there today, champ. And I suppose I'll play... Turn 1, Lumen Vase is fine. Can I put Frenzy Charm on it? I can, but I, I'd rather not. Frenzy Charm Palm Bomb. <laughs> uh, good one. Alright, let's get it. Mega Mimic Spike Wall. Don't love to see it. Look at this opening hand. Three cards? What a world. I've been spoiled on the beta, perhaps a little too much. The trick here is you don't want to you don't want to get lost in the sauce on Newman Biscuit. You're just gonna Newman whatever the best card in your hand is. We're not gonna hold it forever and try to hit anything ridiculous. We're just gonna say Newman what's good and move on. There's also no reason to hold this hand because I'm going to be redrawing into uh, playing bottom here. I can spawn these guys in. It is probably right. The only thing that would be bad there is a Yeti behind the Frost Guardian, but that's always going to be bad. I'd rather know about it. Well, we can go Shellbow Heartforge. Seems fine to me. Because now these guys are frozen forever. Art Forge gives me f some free spice on my hero. How much do I get? Does it go away? Okay, it does go away. Do I want to call in the next wave? Maybe. It's probably good to do, actually, because it's if there is a Grizzle in this wave, which there should be, or I should say there could be, it's good to get him in here now so that he can die to the freeze. Because I'm playing Sunrod here on Snuffle. He doesn't die to the freeze, I should say, but he dies to my hero and he doesn't ever get stuck behind the Frost Guardian. That is the more accurate way of saying what I was trying to say. And we're pretty stable here. Snuffle freezes everything. I, my only problem is snow resistant enemies, but they're not even that big of an issue. I just have so much of it and so much defense that I live forever and never die. 420 on Snawful, by the way. Does that have any significance to you? Me neither. 612, 18, 612. Okay, so I don't actually kill the Grizzle here. 612. I can do this. And hit the Grinky, and then I get a hit in, right? Ah, up to 10. I do kill now. Weird. I don't know how this heal and spice is working out. It kind of just doesn't make sense. To be honest. But here I am. I think in theory I can scale up to a point where I just kill the Frost Guardian. I'm gonna get uber bared. Yeah, I am. I know I am. I know how this is gonna go down. 
I'm gonna take my screenshots now if you don't mind. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm ready. I'm gonna go up to 24 because 24 is a nice number. Ooh, this big foot. I mean, I guess he's never gonna wake up, actually. I was gonna say, ooh, he's scary, but he's 12 freeze. He's not scary, he's stuck. Ooh, the bear. A pleasure, as always. I'll just knock the Bigfoot down a little bit. Because he'll die to Woodhead now. Damn, eat shit, Winterworm. And I live a very long time. I should sunrod my hero there. Cause I don't have two snow cakes, I just can't use them right now. What am I gonna snow cake, Frost Guardian? They're for the final boss because they give me a head start on the two that are scary. Primarily. And this is lethal. You may go. Alright. Shall we? Do I want to change anything? I think we're good. I think we should be fine. I have the sustainability to tank the only two enemies that'll ever get to hit me. I played in front of Crusher, it's whatever. It doesn't matter where I play because I'm never moving. Ooh, don't love this new one hand though. Hmm. I guess it's alright to new one snow stick because it lets you perma freeze bomber and lancer later on. And if you're thinking, oh, shouldn't you snow cake the Junker? The answer is it doesn't matter because Snoffle puts us in an equilibrium anyway. Snoffle makes it so that no enemy other than Bomber and Lancer ever get to attack. They are all, for they're taking five snow every three turns, which is bigger than their turn timers can count down. So it's pretty over for them. 48. I wish I could have gotten Heartforge Pinkberry Juice out, but that's okay. We'll get it later. Maybe. Yeah, fine. It's not going to be a fast victory, but it is going to be a victory. I think. Refreeze. Pinkberry Juice here to go up to 8 again. Why was I at 8 before? Was I at 8 before? I think I was. Oh, Pepper Reaper. I remember that card that I put in my deck, yes. Yeah, so I can, I can refreeze Frost Lancer next turn for free. And then I could do it again a turn later with Snow Cake so I can stop him from attacking for a while. I could do it with Sunrod as well. We can really just lock him out forever. Is that the kill? Oh, that is a kill on the bomber. What do you know? Nice. Oh, yeah, and then I can go, like, Sunrod Snoffle here to freeze the Lancer. You can't quite lock them out forever, but you can come pretty close with enough snow cards. If I have enough cards that say snow on them, I can almost lock the Lancer down permanently. Not quite, though. But we can just shellbow for our boys. They deserve it. Alright, Snopple, I get it. You can stop freezing now. I'm good. I understand. It's over. This will be 12 times 6. It's not super high damage, but... I mean, really, I'm glad I took Heartforge, because it makes this fight a lot faster. This is going to be a real long fight without Heartforge. I'm just going to fast draw. We're just going to cycle through for Sunrod repeatedly now. I'm going to do Pepper Reaper Pink Berry Juice here, actually. It's not better, but I, mean, I think it might be better. What's us at 
14 times 6, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so it's pretty close. I'll hold this hand so we can play Sun Rod. Because we're one, we're two rounds out of winning. It's one, two, three, and then one, two, three on Lancer, and then next attack kills. Sunrod in, we're out. Alright, good fight. Good run. Uh, shout out to my boy Snoffle. I think that this is a run where we did not hit crowns, but we hit good units. But I, I imagine that there's going to be a combo out there somewhere where you hit a run of no crowns and no playable cards, and that run probably dies on combat three or four. That's what I think it's going to take to to shake me off the streak now. That or just like a slight oversight, because this game is still one mistake kills you a lot of the time. You move one card in the wrong direction and you die. But anyway, that was a good run. I feel I feel very um, arrogant after that run because that was a hard run to win. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, I guess it wasn't that hard of a run. Anyway, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.